Alright, what's going on peoples of the internet and welcome to your first tutorial in programming games using C++, SDL and OpenGL as our extension libraries. I'm not going to be showing you how to set it up, there's plenty of videos out there on how you have to set this up, so I'm just going to be getting straight into the program of this. So we're going to start out, as we always do when we're programming, by including all the files that we want to include. So in this case, we're going to include the IO stream because we need that for any kind of C++ coding we're going to be doing. We're going to include the SDL header, and then we're going to be including two OpenGL header files, like so. Ooh, not include. That does make sense at all. GLU.h. We'll get more in depth in the in the files we need to have around later. So we're now going to need to create the main function and actually in my reference thing I have here <laughs> I haven't got what I need so I'm just going to quickly copy this across. There we go. Right yeah so you're not going to be able to use a normal int main function for this on modern uh, Windows operating systems you're going to need to use a special kind of uh, parameters in your main for SDL to run properly. But that's what I found anyway. It may work without, you can just play about, and if not, it doesn't matter. So we're going to be using SDL to handle our windows. So we're going to start out by initializing SDL. We can do this by calling the, f the uh, function like so, and passing this parameter in. Okay. Don't worry if it doesn't come up in your suggestions if you're using code blocks. A lot of things aren't in SDL. So now we're going to create something called an SDL surface. This is what we use to store the screen on. So we're going to call it screen. And now we're going to set, now we're going to tell SDL that we want to make this a window. So we're going to call the function set video mode. And now we need to put a couple of parameters in this. So the first one is the width of the window. We're going to just go for 640 now. Oh no, let's go a little bit more dramatic. Let's go 1280. <laughs> and the height, 720. You know, for the hell of it. 32 is the bit rate of the colours we want to use. We're going to be using 32 col bit colours. Uh, we want to tell that we're going to be. We want to tell Open. Not oh, OpenGL. What am I about? We want to tell SDL that we're going to be using a surface to run this and that we're going to be using OpenGL on this surface. So now we've got a window set up uh, but we're not going to run this yet because we're going to have some issues. So now we're going to create a boolean variable called running. Now this is what you'll use in every single project you'll do and you'll use it to carefully terminate your programs in a good way. We're also going to declare uh, something called a uint32, which is basically like an integer, but not quite. We'll go more into depth in that later. And we're also going to create one final variable um, called an SDL event. Uh, we'll see why we need this in a second. We're now going to use our running variable. This is going to create what we call the main game loop. So this is going to constantly process all the game's data while we're running the game, basically. So we're now going to create a start time. And what this is going to do is it's going to get the the start of this frame. So it's going to tell SDL when we started this frame. And again, you're going to see how this comes in handy a little bit later. It's all just pretty much you've got to learn this. You don't need to fully understand terminology behind this because you'll only ever really do this once in your project. And then we'll move more on to OpenGL. I for one am not a fan of SDL. I am more of an OpenGL person myself. I guess that's because I'm younger, the younger generation. Anyway, so now we're going to call a while loop to the SDL poll and we're going to pass in the uh, parameters in there of an event wraparound. So what's this, what this is actually going to do, um, we're going to call a switch here and this is going to tell, uh, find out whether the user has tried to exit the program. So we're going to call the switch 
event.type, which is going to get the type of event. And then we're going to put a case statement saying SDL, quit, not a case statement, that's not right, but yeah, we're going to put a case, uh, SDL quit, and SDL quit is in is an enumeration with the number value applied to it. I don't know what the number value is, it doesn't matter. But what we want to do when that when that's the case, we want to set running to false. And then also very, very important, we must break from the loop. Now this isn't so use so important when we're handling a quit event, but when we go on to handling key pressing events, then we want to be using uh, the break from the while loop a lot. So now within our while running loop, you gotta make sure we're in here. We're going to put SDL underscore GL underscore swap buffers. But a buffer is something that is used in the computer to render it basically renders the image in the computer, then sends it to the to the graphics card which displays it which displays it on the screen. And swapping the buffers means that we're going to be changing the frame every time. Again, it's something we'll go more in depth into later on but it might not be something you need to understand now this is the uh, slightly more confusing part it's where we're going to have to use some math um, so what this is going to do you don't need this but it's I advise if you're going to be following these tutorials all the way through that you follow what we're doing here yeah, so this what this is going to do is going to limit the frame rate now I know what you're thinking if you're a gamer out there why the hell would you want to limit the frame rate that um, you will understand later on. Um, and then we're going to call an SDL underscore delay. You don't really need to understand this part of the math. All you need to know is that the 60, where I've put 60s, that's the frame rate you want to lock it to. And this is where the uh, the uint32 variable start comes in handy that we declared earlier. Okay, so we've done that now, and if we run this, hopefully we won't get any errors. Please be nice to me. Please don't let me get any errors. It's looking good, it's looking good. And there you go, we've got a lovely SDL application that we can open and close. So, we're not actually going to be doing any drawing with OpenGL today, but we are going to do a little bit more. We're going to since in fact no 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 we are not going to do any open gl today because i hate you no um we're not going to do any open gl today we're going to save that for the next tutorial um but yeah this has been my first programming tutorial for a while and my first one was pretty popular um I thought I'd save all this gif gaff to the end because I generally find in programming tutorials I tend to tune out really quickly when people talk about this. So if you'd like to move on to the next tutorial now, that's absolutely fine. You don't have to listen. Uh oh, ow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, I hope to show you this massive project. Oh, you can't see it because your screen's not big. I'll just show you like the main class, but it's a uh, it's a big project that me and my friends have been working on. That's just the main class. There's tons of other source code files that you can't see because they're slightly off your view. Um, and this is a big project, a game project. And I'm going to be teaching you not how to make our game, but how to make something very similar. It's a 2D game, 2D kind of RPG thing. Um, yeah. Uh, and we'll move on to 3D maybe. If you have guys have any suggestions or special tutorials you want to make on just a couple of little things then maybe I'll make one big tutorial where I just cover a few little points you guys wanted to know. Like, you know, if you want to know how to make a full screen, make it in borderless windows, center the screen, stuff like that, then that's all cool. We can do that whenever you guys want. Just put it in the comments. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Um I hope you are looking forward to the next one where we'll do some drawing with OpenGL. Goodbye.